Ring, ring, ring. Postman. Who this? Cherry the worst. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jerry, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this really cute braided ponytail that I will be wearing literally all freaking summer. It's very simple and easy, so let's get started. The first thing I did was wash my hair, blow dry it, and put some Jamaican black castor oil on my edges. This is going to help my edges grow as well as keep it moisturized. And then I parted my hair into fours and put my pink lotion into my hair as well. I forgot to show it to the camera, but basically pink lotion just keeps my hair moisturized. I have a really bad problem with dandruff growing in the summer because, oh my god, my hair gets so dry. <laughs> Basically, I just make sure anytime I'm doing a protective hairstyle, I put a lot of pink lotion in. <laughs> so after that, I took the top part of my hair and I basically made a slanted part. And when I went towards the back of my head, I just did a part going straight back. So basically, it's like a slant in the front and straight back in the back. So it's kind of like a cute little style. And so after I made sure my part was straight in the front and back, I took my Eco Styling Gel and I placed it right next to the part. Um, and made sure I was working it downwards on my hair because I wanted my hair to stay down because I do have a lot of split ends and I wanted the hairstyle to look really really sleek so I just took my bristle brush and my fingers and started to brush it downwards on my hair and make sure my hair was nice and laid and then I took my first touchdown edge tamer maximum touch and I put a lot of it along my edges because I want majority of my hair to go up into the braid and if I leave some of my edges out, I feel like it's just like, as the hairstyle gets older, I put more edge control on to maintain it if I was to leave a lot of my edges out. And it just starts to look ugly and nasty and really gunky. And I go through a whole freaking process that I don't like going through. <laughs> and so then I took my ultimate touch edge control and placed that along my part and started to brush that down and smooth it down just to make sure everything was like really concise and smooth down and then I took a little bit more edge control and placed it at the tip part of the part I guess and I did this just to make sure I had a grip on my hair and I'm not the best braider so it kind of just helps me out so I got ready with the Canicolon braiding hair by braiding my hair twice I think maybe two or three times and then I added my first strand of Canicolon hair into my own hair and I'm basically doing feed in braids now y'all I cannot explain to y'all how I do feed-in braids because I literally learned how to do feed-in braids by doing this hairstyle. What I do know is I'm doing it wrong because it's not the invisible style of feed-in braids. I don't know but I will link the video that taught me how to do feed-in braids below that way you guys can learn with me because <laughs> like I said like I really had to do this style maybe three or four times till I actually got the braiding method right but basically anytime I did a braid I added a strand of Canicolon hair. One braid, add a strand. One braid, add a strand. And that's how I got that um, that gradients from small to medium to large going on with my hair. So basically, yeah, I just kept on braiding. And once I got to the back of my head, I stopped adding hair because I really didn't need my hair to be big back there. And I just braided it down halfway and put a rubber band at the end and did the same exact thing to the other side of my hair. And basically, wherever my hair ended at, I stopped the braid at, put the elastic band on it and cut the excess part off and then I put my hair into a small bun in the back to make sure my bun was secured I put two elastic bands around it just to make sure it was nice and tight after that I took my curly weave and I started to wrap it around the bun in a ladder method so I started off at the bottom of the bun going upwards that way my bun was completely covered and there was no chance of it showing out <laughs> at any time and after I was done wrapping it around I fluffed it out a little bit and added some clips to my hair. And that's basically it you guys. The more I fluff the hair out in the back, the better it looked. I will make sure that I also link below the hair company that sent me this hair because this is my favorite curly hair. And yeah, this is my favorite hairstyle now. Oh my god, wasn't it easy? <laughs> wasn't this a really, really easy hairstyle and it's cute. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Tell me what you think about this video. Like, comment, subscribe. If it helps you and if you think it's going to help somebody else, don't forget to share with them and I will see you in my next one. Bye y'all.
looks. I be giving looks. Fashion week in New York and I just got booked. Looks, looks. I be giving looks. Fashion week in New York and I just got booked. Looks, looks. I be giving looks. Fashion week in New York and I just got booked. Looks, looks. I be giving looks. Fashion week in New York and I just got booked.